My name is Adam Rifkin and welcome to Trailers from Hell. Today, Vincent Price is back with more fabulous art deco decor, more very creative bizarre murders, uh, more campy thrills, and another gorgeous henchman who happened to die in the first film but somehow is back again in the second film played by a different actress. I of course am talking about Dr. Fibes Rises Again. Okay, so in the sequel to the abominable Dr. Fibes, Dr. Fibes Rises Again, 1972, uh, also directed by Robert Foost. Fibes rises three years later because the moon, at a predestined angle, rises in a certain way, I guess, and awakens the sleeping Dr. Fibes, even though we clearly saw him kill himself in the first film. To his dismay, his house has been demolished and his papyrus scrolls have been stolen, and those are the scrolls he needs to bring back to life his dead beloved wife from the first film. So this film takes us to Egypt for lots more very creative killings and lots of campy humor. There's a very famous behind the scenes story about this film because Robert Quarry basically plays the version of the character that Joseph Cotton played in the original and word had leaked accidentally to Vincent Price that AIP, the company that produced the film, uh, was grooming Robert Quarry to take over where Vincent Price had left off as their new horror king. And so as a result, the two men didn't get along during the making of the film. Robert Quarry is famous for the Count Yorga films. I actually saw Robert Quarry before he died give a Q&A after some screenings, and he was kind of a cantankerous, nasty guy. The ending of the film is one of uh, my favorite endings of campy horror classics, and that's the sequence where Robert Quarry ages before our eyes. We learn that Robert Quarry is hundreds of years old in the film, and uh, at the end of the movie, he ages all those years right in front of us. When, as a kid, I found that to be a particularly terrifying scene. Anyway, the sets are fabulous, and the, uh, the murders are also fabulous, and uh, this film, unlike the first film, Dr. Fibes himself plays a much more key character in terms of being the protagonist. The first film focused a lot on the investigators following the leads and trying to find the murder. This film, very much Dr. Fibes is our protagonist. I don't think the film is as good as the first film, but it's a great campy classic. I would recommend it. From the depths of this unholy tomb, the Avenger rises. <laughs> 